may have to take a break. <laughs> You, you look well. You look good. You're all right for kissing dead people coming out of ponds. Yeah, I feel good. I've been working all year, so that's always nice. That is know? nice. That should get the money and get the money, man. You always get good to get the old lolly, isn't it? Yeah, lolly. Yeah. Lolly's a British word for cash. It is indeed. It's in no way a slang term for a sex act, is it, Peter? <laughs> no, it's not. But this is a good one. I think you'll like it. You, well, it's, it's it looks nice. terrifying. It, well, it's Stephen King. It's meant to be. Yeah, well, that's true. So, yeah. Did you, know. you meet Stephen King when you were there? No, he didn't come over. We shot it up in Halifax, Nova Scotia, and uh, he's in Maine. He never made it over. Was this like? <laughs> Called him up, but this he couldn't like make it over. It's like twenty miles away or something, isn't it? <laughs> it's true. It is true. He's, uh, I, I'm, I'm quite frightened of Stephen King. He did the, uh, he, the, he did that uh, one where the vampires came up to the window. Real vampires, before they were gay vegetarians. What are they, uh, <laughs> Salem's Law. Salem's Salem. Law. Yeah, that, he did that one. Oh, that was frightening. Yeah, yeah. Totally. That was, I, so is this uh, vampires or is it just no, uh, zombies from the lake? No, this is about a guy who's a writer, Michael Noonan, and his wife dies, and he has writer's block, and he goes off to the lake house, and there in it hangs the tail. Well, so yeah. it's, um, it's bad, bad, bad. Crikey, happens. Yeah, bad. Crikey, happens. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's. Um, do you do you get scared? Uh, like, if you wa if you're in a scary movie and then you watch it, do you like you know get scared at the frightening bits or? You, no, not are you? at all. No, I showed this to the family the other night there, and uh, you well, know, your my, boys are quite young. What age are you boys? They're fourteen and ten. Can you let a 10-year-old see that? You wanted to see it. Well, I mean, like, my 10-year-old wants to have a car. He can't have a car. I know, but, you know, I had to see the show. So right, he okay. came up to the room and he watched the bit and he crept under the bed and stuff yeah, like yeah. this. And so it was, it's, um, it's a good one. That's good. Hey, listen, are you... Uh I was just looking at Jeffrey, that's all. I was just checking him out, actually. Mm, yeah? You can keep looking all you want. <laughs> He was, he was a big fan of Remington Steele back in the day. That's what his thing was. Yeah, that was a, that was, that was, a, was that the last time you did TV? No, I did something else. Well, you did some in Sweden? Uh, you did some Swedish? I'm going to use you now. No, Remington Steele was 80s, yeah. Right. Yeah. And then uh, I, I, I did a few miniseries and movies of the week and stuff like that. Then, then Bond. And, and then the oh, no, Bond, Bond was Remington Steele and then Bond, wouldn't it? You went straight to Bond, didn't you? It was Remington Steele, Bond... And that was it. Man, you know, that was 15 years ago. <laughs> More or less. Yeah, that, that new, they're making the new Bond film in Scotland, I noticed. Are they really? Yes, yes. Daniel Craig's doing it again. He's had not a hair in that man's body. <laughs> I'm not going to touch that. No, no. No. No, he, no he's, he's been waxed. <laughs> I think that's... I mean, I don't know where you keep your secret, you know... Documents and stuff. If you don't have at least some hair, Sean Connery was covered in hair. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's, the, the man's part gorilla. You, if I, I think that Sean Connery probably has a tire swing in his backyard. <laughs> are you still? Uh, are you still uh, down in Malibu? There? Still down in Malibu. Yeah. The house is coming along. We're moving in for Christmas, so well, that's, that's very nice. good. Yeah. And um, you know, you're welcome to come over. Thanks. You know, you're only saying that because we're on TV, though, yeah. aren't you? <laughs> The missus told me. So what, tell, say, the, you know, tell Craig to come over. Um, you know? I can't, though. <laughs> Is you not, you're not on the beach? No, no, I'm not there. I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to Scotland for Christmas if I was then left after this hurricane. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so the winds are that bad over Yeah, there? it's really bad over there right now. They're getting blown around. But they really are calling it Hurricane Bob. <laughs> <laughs> they have a scorn and a contempt for nature, which I find. What's it called? Hurricane Bob bag. Oh, ball back? Yeah. Ball back? Ball back. It's like, it, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, if, you, if you're Glaswegian and you say, your father was Glaswegian, yeah, right, from yeah, Glasgow, sure. right? Ball back. Ball back, yeah, I don't know that word. Scrotum, scrotum. Oh, scrotum. Oh, ball, ball back. Oh, yeah, ball back. Yeah. Say. Diction. 
Yeah. Fiction. I'm not classically trained. Are you a classically trained actor? You went to the fancy schools and stuff. It, it says in my resume, classically trained. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I went to a great school. It was drama centre, very method, and we. Wait, wait! You don't have a resume. You don't turn up for an audition, and people go, "All right, Pierce, let me have a look at where, where did you train?" Pierce. Nobody does that to you. They say, "Do you want millions of dollars to dress up and kiss hot girls coming out of the lake or not?" Yeah, not quite. Not quite. Not quite, but uh, yeah, you know, Scotland. I worked a lot in Scotland. Glasgow Citizens. I worked at the yeah. Glasgow Citizens, the the theatre there. Glasgow Citizens is a wonderful oh, theatre up yes, in the Gorbals. Great theatre, the yeah. It's a very heavy part of Glasgow. It used to be. I think it's okay now. It used to be a very tough part of town, but it's very uh, I, you know, I left and everything seems to have cleared up. <laughs> No, I think they've actually uh, gentrified the area, yeah. which I find remarkable, but yeah. true. Yeah. yeah, but it was a great place to do plays. You know, you'd do these kind of Jacobean tragedies and all these classical pieces, and the girls would always have their boobs out. Oh, we like. always, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's the only reason I wanted to be in the theatre. These it girls was. were running yeah. around with their knockers all over the yeah. place. It was fantastic. Yeah. God bless them, I say. <laughs> Nowadays, it's all guys. <laughs> Not the same, is it? Not the same. <laughs> <laughs> Not even close. All right, uh... Yeah, go ahead. Well... Well, go ahead. I mean, just do something now. Oh, no, I am. I'm going to... Say, oh, that's good. You, you, no, why, okay. why is it good? No, because it's... it's I, I don't know. All right, so, <laughs> so... Awkward pause, or... Big cash prize. There's two ways to win the big cash prize. All you right. can either answer a question, or you can guess what's inside my box. <laughs> What happens is, I imagine a box in my head, and then, uh, and then Jeff knows what's inside the box. You guess what's inside the box. If you're right, you win 50 bucks. How big is a box? Uh, <laughs> okay. Maybe the harmonica. It's about, about regular oh, size. Oh, you want a mouth organ? Yeah, sure. Can you play? No. Ah. No, no. What else? What would you like me to do? What would you? Oh, I think you should do big cash prize. Big cash prize. All right. Okay. What time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? Like? Time for the big cash do you know I just said what time is it Jeffrey Pearson and I meant to say what time is it Shadow Stevens? A mistake in an otherwise flawless show. <laughs> so run this by me again now. All right, what you have to do is answer one question and you win, that's it. You okay. can, you know, expend it on your house in Malibu. So what's in your, what's in your that, box? That'll get you a brick. Yeah, the doorknob. <laughs> all right, um, I'm going to ask you a question, all right? You ready? Mm -hmm. One question, you win this, you win 50 American dollars to spend any way you see fit. Okay. Okay. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is Reykjavik. What part of the body did ancient Egyptians shave to mourn the loss of their cats? <laughs> when you saw an ancient Egyptian with this thing shaved, you'd go, oh, sorry about your cat. <laughs> Smorgasbord. Could it be Smorgasbord? Smorgasbord. Smorgasbord. Stop, 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 stop. The You're genitals. not making it any better. No. Let me just say, You're no, it wasn't that one, but you get another chance. <laughs> the, the, the what? The head. The, uh, on the head, it's part of, it's, they, 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 these things that they shaved are on the head. They shaved their, their eyebrows. They yeah, shaved their eyebrows. Tonight, uh, after Sean Connery, is my favourite James Bond. He is a great... <laughs> Pierce Brosnan, everybody! Pierce How lovely to see you. You look great. Cheers, man. Trying, trying, you know. One well, I, I, you look fantastic. I have to say in that film, though, that's not your usual role. You don't usually play such a horrible jerk who's... <laughs> You cut, the, you cut the tagline off. Yeah, I, I was waiting for it. I was it. waiting for that because he looks at her and he says, well, I pay them good money. 
No. So that would be, yeah. When you, you know when the, you show a clip, you should probably leave it in the punchline. Just a tip. Just a tip for later on. Thank I you. am so sorry. No worries, mate. No they worries. do that to me all the time. It's a good movie, though. It's such a lovely film. Is this, this is the one that's a bit in Danish. It is in Danish. It's a, uh, Susanna Bear directed it. She, she won the Oscar for... Uh, she, Another film? Yeah, two. <laughs> <laughs> but she'll probably she, win it again for this she one, did too. A movie. <laughs> she did a movie called In a Better World. That's she it, won yeah, a, yeah. She won the Oscar for that. So she called me up. I love the script. You know, it's about a man who's middle-aged and loses his wife, and his son's getting married, and then this, this lady. It was actually called The Bald-Headed Hairdresser. That's how it came to me. That was the title. That was the title? Yeah, and it's now called uh, Love is All You Need. So it's it's very beautiful. It's unabashedly romantic. Well, that's all right. That's good. Do you do? Are you doing any singing in this one? No. no. All right. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's kind of. <laughs> 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 It's kind of like a Mamma Mia, but yeah, you know, no, come safe. On. All, everyone's safe. You know? I, listen, I got to tell you, I loved Mamma Mia. I think that's a great film. I mean, really, it's a ton of fun. I'm not, I'm not being facetious or sarcastic. I loved it. Oh, I, I think so. It's classic. It, it was, was really funny. It was great. It's meant to be funny, right? Yeah. Yeah. I so. Yeah. No, I so thought it was fantastic. I really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, it was good. Crim <laughs> Did you learn to speak Danish in this film a little bit? I did a little bit. I mean, there was only one line, really. I just, do air smoke. <clears throat> you are beautiful. It's a good line to have up your sleeve, you know. Do, what, say it again. Do air smoke. Do air smoke. Do air smoke. Sounds like, do air smoke. Do, do air smoke. <laughs> like, the way I smoked a cigarette, you'd think I was, <laughs> you'd think I was a guy. <laughs> well, it's a tricky, it's a tricky language to get your tongue around, but I, yeah. I, I got my tongue around that line. How, anyway. how are you with your tongue normally? You all right? Uh, it's all right. Yeah. Well, sometimes yeah, you Yeah, I've heard that. Uh, heard. Did you? Where from? No, uh, Who from? Uh, on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't go near it. No, you're you're well, right. You're right not to. Oh, just, did you, don't you have a Twitter account or something? I don't. No, I mean, uh, I, I do have a Twitter account, actually, but I've only tweeted once. Twice, I was... Yeah, you're not really throwing yourself uh, into it, Pierce, if you've only <laughs> tweeted twice. I just don't really... I, I, I don't see the need for it. And I just feel... I feel very vulnerable by kind of putting my yeah, stuff on I, the Yeah, I totally there. understand. I think you're right. You've got to be careful. Really, a lot of people really, out there... Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's a weird world. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people stalking you, like, like, you know, like when I'm outside your house and you get mad and say... <laughs> Go home, Craig. It's two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> well, we do bump into each other from time we to time do, on the beach. Time you know? time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Funny that. Plastic cup in the hand. Oh, <laughs> walking down the. <laughs> Hello? Mr. Brosden, Mr. Brosden, what? I still want for CBS. Sir. <laughs> oh. Hey, listen, life after Bond, that must be weird. Does it still follow you around? you still get asked about it all the oh, time? Sure. I mean, that's once you go into that kind of arena, it's going to, you know, you're a marked man for life, really. And uh, it's not a bad thing to... It's, I tell you, it's one of the... I think handle. it's kind of like a, a knighthood or something. It's a great honour to have played Bond. Because you know, you're, except with the possible exception of the remarkable George Lazenby, they, everyone else <laughs> who played Bond is a giant star. Yeah, I yeah. guess so. I, mean, I, uh, I won't go near the George of a No, no, no I, I mean, I'm sure he's a very nice man. I yeah, mean, uh, I'm sure his mother loves him. Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, but, um, <laughs> you know, well, uh, it, it, was, uh, it was good while it lasted. What can I say? Do you, but, do you, do you ever look at Adam? Do you ever, you ever look at the old Bonds? You know, the old invisible car one you did, that one? No, any of those? no, no, which really kind of pisses my son off because he said, Dad, why don't you watch the show with me? Why don't you watch Bond? I just find it very difficult to sit oh, down and watch it. Oh, you must love it. I mean, my, my, <laughs> my, uh, my oldest boy is the same age as your youngest boy. Yeah, 12. And he's just, yeah, but 12. And he's just getting into Bond now. You know, he started on Skyfall, and now he's going all the back catalog. He's like, you know, he's crazy for it. Yeah. So, it's... I mean, if I had played Bond, I, he would actually respect me. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm sure he does. I'm sure he does. I mean, it's a rite of passage, this movie. And, uh, you know, for my boys, I think my 12-year-old, I have to sit down with him. I promised him I would, and I'd said, we, you know, we'd watch them all together. But, you know, I think, I mean, for any movie that I, I've done, it's like, you do it and you move on. Do you, you don't, really, you, don't do you watch the movies as they're being constructed? Do you watch them as they're being edited? Do you sit down and give notes? Um, not particularly. I mean, if I'm, if I'm producing the movie, I will look at it. I'll look at it more closely than if I was just acting in it. 
And when I'm acting in it, I just have a look at the monitor from time to time. Yeah. But basically, you, you do you really have that? Do you have that thing where I mean, really good actors that impress me are usually people who are paradoxically not vain at all when they're on a movie set. They can be very vain when they're not on a movie set, mm -hmm. but when they're uh, when they're on a movie set, they seem to have a complete absence of any kind of concern about how they look or sound or anything. That's me. That's you. Yeah. Really? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. I tell you, hey, do you remember, do you remember we had, when we had lunch uh, a while back and it was in that place down at the beach there, remember that? Mm -hmm. And I remember, you know, well, I was, uh, when I was having lunch with you and I could see everybody in the restaurant was going, it's Pierce Brosnan, it's Pierce yeah. Brosnan. Are you aware of that going on? Or was it when I said, look everybody, it's Piers Brosnan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you do, you hear it, you know. But you just, you know, you, you, you just nothing but gratitude, graciousness. You seem to be, you very, to be, you seem to be very well adjusted for someone that, that got into your position. I, I'm, I'm always kind of impressed by that. Uh, I always expect people who are big stars to be douchebags, and you're not at all, is it? <laughs> I'm sure there's some people out there that think I'm a douchebag. Nah. I'm sure there are ones. Nah, no, well, you can oh. always find somebody, but, you know, you'd have to look. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, you know, it's such a game, being an actor. It's such a funny old game. And I've just had nothing but good luck since I left drama school in, you know, God, 76. And Jeez. I've managed to work and keep up. And it's your birthday going. soon. Your, your birthday the day before mine. <clears throat> Were you 51 too? Uh, yeah, and then some. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, it's 60. It's, is, is this it? Is this, this is 60? It. This is the big 6 oh man. Man, I, like you look great. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well. Yeah. 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 Wait, what's that one? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't oh. know what that one is. <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, I got so my nose fell off, I got another one. Yeah. Hey, we have to take a break. We'll be right back with Pierce Brosnan, everybody. After this, I mean, ah, we'll figure it out. Oh, we're back good. on TV. We're back on TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. good. Ah, we don't really know each other at yeah. all. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's your birthday. You doing anything special? Mm hmm. Oh, you are? Yeah. Well, a little party, I think, a wee shindig down there at the beach. Oh, we shindig um, at the beach? Yeah. Like last year's. I was at last year's. Last year's. Yeah, yeah. thanks for the invite to this year's. Though. Well, you. you <laughs> You're still on the list. Yeah, I know. Still, I, you I'm and looking, Megan can come down and... Well, I'm, I love the parties at your house. Barbara Streisand was at your last party. She came over. Well, she never came over. I went over her and I went, ah! But you <laughs> <laughs> Do that again. <laughs> <laughs> she's, a, well, she's a friend. She certainly is. Very so nice woman. I was, grand again, lady. surprised. And, um, you know, you look around. You've been in the business for a while and you look around and you're kind of drawing up a list for a party and you go well I know this person I know that one and my wife Keely and I and the boys we keep a very low low life you know low life I mean yeah, yeah. low profile <laughs> sorry I was low gonna life say profile. I know your wife your wife's a very upstanding very nice woman uh, just uh, called your Keely a low life on TV <laughs> bitch <laughs> So there you go. Um, yeah, yeah, no. Anyway, you know, f 59 was great, and last year the house got finished, and it took a while to get the place built. And it was, it was great, though, it, man. What a place! It's a grand house. It's yeah, a no, lovely. it's fantastic. And and you know, uh, the party. I just kept looking around, going, oh, "Oh, this is like being at a real Hollywood party." Yeah. And then I was like, "It is a real Hollywood party." <laughs> Yeah, but it was quite intimate as well. Well, the laugh. thing is, it's not like a work one. It's not like where people are actually going, hey, it's, no. it's like people are kind of like drunk and stuff. Yeah, it was funny. Yeah. yeah. And they got a bit of a Kaylee going and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, it's a few, uh, Anyway, 6 0, oh, that's it. Yeah, you'll and, be uh, fine. Yeah. It's only a number, isn't it? Die if you worry, you die if you don't. So. I love that. Why worry? God bless the Irish, you know. I say. Pierce Brosnan, everybody, will be right back.
you. Man, you look good. You look good. I'm trying. I'm no, trying. Man, you look good. They're crazy for you. <laughs> and, uh, they're going crazy for you. Pierce, they're going crazy. Oh. It's, the, it's the Danish you're in, you know, tonight. Is that what it is? Yeah, they're here. See, so you ever been That's in Denmark? A, I have. I did a beautiful film there called Love Is All You Need. Gorgeous film. Oh, actually. really? Yeah. That's nice. Oh, yeah, that's one of my favorites. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Susanna Bear, a wonderful director called Susanna Bear. And, um,. Anyway, check out Love Is All You Need. Well, we, yeah. that, I, we, so, we should probably talk about the one you're plugging, though. Remember, <laughs> man, the, this one. Yeah. Action it, packed. It took a while to get there, but we finally got there. Don't they all? They do. Some, do well, some of them come together pretty quickly, but this one was about five years in the making. It's and good, uh, though, man. It's like, this is it, because they call you the November Man, because you're like November. Like, once you're done, everything's dead. Well, it, 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 <laughs> That's, that's one of the reasons, and also in the books, all the agents have different kind of uh, names of the seasons and stuff like this. Oh, like My Little Pony. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, or the May Man. Oh, all right, all right. No, 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 not quite. I want to be April. <laughs> <laughs> You'd make a good April. <laughs> I shower you with menace. <laughs> anyway, I'm glad you like it. No, Did no. You see it? <laughs> No, it's all right. It's all right. It's good. It's good. good. Yeah, yeah. Good. No, it's a, it's a return to the action business. Well, I thought, you know, I thought there was enough time between my days as James Bond. You were a good you know? Bond man. You were yeah. a good Bond. Yeah. It was a good Thank you very much. You know, it was a... I mean, it was life-changing in many ways. Sure. You know, without James Bond, there wouldn't be a November Man. And right. I wouldn't be able to have my own company, Irish Dreamtime, and make movies like Thomas Crown or The Matador. Thomas so, Crown. There you go. Crown, I love that film. Thomas Crown is a great one. You know, because I, when I heard you were... This is just a few years back, Thomas Crown, though, now, isn't it? Yeah, it was about 10, 12. But 15. I remember when I heard you were making it, because it was a Steve McQueen movie. Mm -hmm. And I was like, ah, oh, you can't do that. And then you did it. It was awesome. Yeah. That scene with a boat in the New York <clears throat> Harbor when you're doing the sailing thing. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, I, yeah. I went to the bathroom a little bit during that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was fantastic. It well, made me want to go sailing. Well, that was nuts, because I remember being out in the harbor with that, and they had me on this Australian rig, which is a 45 foot rig and you're out there on the ladder and I said well what do they do and they said well they don't do anything they just hang off the rig yeah so but it looked like that was enough to be honest uh, <laughs> like what did you want to do well I just said throw me a rope I said throw me a rope and they said but they don't use ropes I said but it's gonna look good you know as I'm hanging off doing oh, like doing a bit of rope acting yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Been doing it all my life, for God's sake. You know? I think I think it was fantastic. Are you a sailor? Do you do sailing? No. 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 I tried it after I saw that, and then I was like, "This is kind of like you don't do anything. You're just uh, gonna sit there and wait no, until." No, it can be quite enjoyable though if you go out in a nice boat. Well, a nice day, yeah, but it's not action packed. Well, if you're on a big rig like those Australian boats, those catamarans, they're fierce. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Well, that's not what I was on, though. No, and you were what? I was, I was going out like to that? Catalina on a little rented boat. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, that's nice. Well, uh, yeah, 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 no, no. Yeah. Well, we'll have to go out sailing together. No, oh, let's no. Let's do something else. What do you like to do to get, you know, get the old blood pumping? Uh, paddleboard. <laughs> oh, that thing. A paddleboard. I yeah. quite fancy that. I've seen oh, people doing that. You know, with the, the uh, yes. Kind of. You know, you have your pole in your hand, and I always do. Yeah, you Oh. Oh, it's a good one. Great. Have you ever seen, because uh, uh, you live out uh, by the coast there, yeah, have you ever seen uh, sharks or critters when you're out there paddle boarding? No. No. Thank God I haven't. But I've heard of the stories, but no, I've never seen I think, I, I was out of kayak once, I think I got hit by a shark. Really? How do you mean? You were well, something came along, it was a perfectly calm sea, something came along, hit the boat, and I flew out of the... Uh, and, it, and also, coincidentally, it was during Shark Week, so... How do you mean you hit the boat? You were, you were on a paddle boat? I was on a kayak, I was on a little kayak oh, on my really? own, and a calm sea, something came up from under, hit the kayak, I came out, and then I fell in the water, and then I started trying to pull the kayak towards the shore, and then I thought, Tootsie Fruits, the kayak, <laughs> and then I... <laughs> And I, I swam. Well, it the could have been a dolphin. It, it could have been, been a dolphin, dolphin, but it could have been a shark. Yeah, it could have been a shark as well. 
I think you would have known about it though if it was a shark. Yeah, I don't know. Have you ever have you ever seen a shark like up close? No, not really. No, no. I, well, in Hawaii, we have a little place out there, and uh, they sometimes you got reef sharks there. They yeah, come around. Black tip yeah. sharks and bull sharks and stuff like. But that. you want to stay away from the bull shark. That's a bitey shark. Yeah, yeah. No, that's a very aggressive. That's a lot of testosterone. That's like you in shark form. <laughs> Oh, good. How did this horse ever get into the picture? You know, I can't remember. I, I, I think we did a... He's throwing gang things to you right now, though. You is that see what that? It's, I don't think he... I think he's playing with himself. I don't know what the hell he's doing. I, I, <laughs> he's, uh, he's doing cocaine, <laughs> and, then he, and then he's throwing gang so signs. Yeah, so that's... distracting. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry that it, I know it catches the eye. It's yes. something that happened. I think a few years back we were doing a sketch and then we got the costume and it felt yeah. right to keep going. <laughs> that's how that's how movies come together. You must know that. That's it how is. that's how James Bond started. They had a pair of trousers. They thought this would be good for a secret. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Is the same guy in there all these years? Yeah. Same yeah. two. Same two guys. Same. Oh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think they take turns of being top and bottom. Yeah. Really. <laughs> Yeah. Did you ever do a pantomime? I did do pantomime, did do pantomime actually. Did you ever do pantomime? I did pantomime. That's yeah. why really the horse is here. I think that's probably... Pantomime is a very successful form of theatre in Britain. In Britain every yeah. actor, every Christmas always works in pantomime. Oh. And there's always one of those. Yeah. And maybe sometimes a gay robot skeleton, but not that one. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I never knew he was gay, actually. There you go. Oh. Yeah. yeah. If you didn't know that, you're doing it wrong. Oh. Sorry. I'm sorry, man. Them I'm bones, sorry. Them I'm bones, sorry. Them bones. I'm sorry, Pierce Brush. No, that's okay. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> hey, uh, what pantomime did you do, Pierce? I did. Uh, oh God, what was it? I did The Wizard of Oz. Who did yeah. you play then? I was a chocolate tree. <laughs> I was an Italian chocolate tree. I, an but, Italian chocolate? Yeah, I, I, I was... was that, that's not in the movie, no, is it's it? No, uh, it's not in the movie, no, but th there are trees in the movies, yeah, they're, they're in the movie. And, uh, oh, I was, I was out of drama school, and uh, I was acting, yeah, uh, Sam, acting assistant stage manager at the York Theatre Royal. That's which, a pretty good theatre. It was a very good theatre, yeah. and still is a good theatre, but I was in pantomime, and it was just... It's a beautiful time of it's the season. It's a good time of life, man, when you're like early 20s. Yeah. Everybody's young, fit, and single. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you must have ripped yeah. it up. Yeah, you too, my well, friend. Where, where, did you, where, where did you do your theater? Sterling McRobert Center. I played the Chinese policeman. <laughs> oh, God. In a deeply racist production of Aladdin. <laughs> oh, it was shocking, man, shocking. Yeah. And now, did you go off to drama school? Did you do No, all that? no, I didn't do drama school. I, was, I did acid. <laughs> yeah. oh. I mean, I know they're not mutually exclusive, but... Yeah. Type of asses, baby. Yeah, that was... Does it every time. Yeah. Yeah. I never did that. No, it's... Listen, I wouldn't recommend it. It's no. not good. No. No. Stayed away. Yeah, you ended up... I mean, you wouldn't have been Bond. You'd have been a late night TV. <laughs> <laughs> Coming, you're getting near the end. Getting near the end. Getting near now. the yeah, end. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Well, you got it all figured out here? Sure, after? I'm going to walk yeah. the earth solving crimes. <laughs> there you are. Very good. Where are you going to start? You know, any idea? Start West now. Hollywood, probably. <laughs> well, Some crimes over there. There are a lot of crimes. Oh, I'm sure it'll be very fertile ground. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hell, man, that's a perfectly decent thing to say. <laughs> We're going to take a commercial break where I'm going to talk to these Danish people about their behaviour. And we'll be right back. We'll be right back with Pierce Bros and everybody. Else. I'm here with Pierce Brosnan. We're talking about the November Man, which is out on the the DVD and the the Blu-ray. Blu yeah. Yeah. What is Blu-ray? Because I don't know, and you no, don't. I don't, I don't know. know. No, I, don't. I think it's DVD, I'm... but really good. 
and it's blue, and, and it's, it's blue. beautiful, yeah, it's big, high definition. Yeah, big Blu-ray, they got high definition. You, you must have a big TV in your house, no? I got a big TV, but I don't know how to use it, so, you know, my kids know how to use it. I go away, I go to work, I come home. I forget the code. I can't. The gate. I can't. I, I'm like totally grandpa with the TV now. I'm like, hey, can someone turn it on? Yeah. <laughs> it happens. It happens like that. But um, oh, you seem to be doing all right. You, you mean you're all handsome and stuff? Still look like James Bond. <laughs> there you go. Um, well, long may it last. It's all. How will it last? Fine. Do you do a lot? Do you do a lot of the keep fit? I do a bit of keep fit, yeah. What I mean, do you do? I get on the bike, I hike, and uh, yeah, stay out. Go down to the just, uh, you know, and I, I I do the paddle boarding, and and I worry, you know, <laughs> stress. What, stress what is always you, good. What do, you, what do you stress about? You can't. You be worry stressed. about the kids. You worry about oh, the well, next yeah. job. You worry about whatever. Do you still you worry about the next job even always, now? Always do. Really? Yeah. yeah Come on, man. You're Crikey. a movie star. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. <Yeah. laughs> It's not like it's not like you you're just a movie star. I mean, you've been a movie star for a long time. I, 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 an actor. I've been an actor a long time. Well, yeah, so, an actor so, who you know. And I do movies. Stars in a lot of big movies. <laughs> movies. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I think you're going to be okay. Is what but I'm saying. <laughs> No, I think I'm, I'm easing into the okayness of it. But, however, you, you just can't take it for granted. And I just... No, that's... You really can't, because uh, you want to keep up and you want to stay at the table for as long as you can. Yeah. And there's always that next job is going to be the best one. It's the one where you're going to really nail it. Do you, and, st uh, you still have a hunger like that for it? Mm, that's yeah. great, man. That's yeah. why, that's why yeah. you're still a very successful sure. actor. Because yeah. some people do things for a long time and then just get bored and want to leave. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna miss you. Nah, nah. We're gonna miss you. You'll be fine. I know, I know. It's a weird knee. It's a, it's a strange knee. It is. <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, never, you, you do, no. don't touch that unless you're serious. Cause. No. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, we're out of time. Is that it? Yeah. You want right. to fancy an awkward pause quickly? An awkward pause? Yeah. Awkward oh, pause. I haven't seen or heard the awkward pause well, in a long just, time. Just an awkward pause. Okay. <laughs> Do you ever have sexy dreams? <laughs> about your therapist? I do. You do? Yeah. You do? About your therapist? No. You are the therapist in the dream. Never mind. Uh, look, what happens?